Flags are commonly used to change how the story goes. In this tutorial, we'll be using a flag to determine the game's ending. As usual, this tutorial requires the basic knowledge of Rentai. Let's start by creating our conversation with our love interest. In this code, Yuki, our love interest, asks three questions. Question 1 is favorite food. Question 2 is favorite color. And question 3 is favorite pet. It's the player's goal to answer at least two correctly to get the best ending. In visual novels, it is common to count how many right answers were made. To do that, let's create a flag called Yuki Affection. We want it to be a number, so let's set the default value to zero. For the sake of this tutorial, let's set the first choices as the correct answers. So when the character chooses them, we want to increase Yuki Affection by one. A shorter way of writing this is to use plus equals. So let's use that instead. Let's test this out. First, let's check our variable by pressing Shift T. Let's click on the variable viewer, then we'll see Yuki affection is equal to zero. Let's go back to the game and answer one question correctly. Let's check the variable viewer again, and now Yuki affection is one. With our choices and flags ready, let's evaluate the ending. If Yuki affection is at least two, let's jump to the label called Yuki best ending. This will show Yuki's I love you dialogue. If Yuki affection is one, meaning only one question was answered correctly, it will result to the good ending. Then let's use else to decide what will happen to the unhandled values such as zero and negative numbers. This should result to a bad ending. Here's a preview. Let's answer three questions correctly. Let's answer one question correctly. Let's answer all incorrectly. There are also choices that are required to get the best ending. A good example is in Fire Emblem Tree Houses, where you need to acquire a ring to get the marriage ending. Let's try that here. A vendor will offer a ring, and the player will have a choice to buy it or refuse. First, let's add a flag called Acquired Ring and set it to false. When the player chooses to buy the ring, we want to set this to true. Now in our ending evaluation, if at least two answers are correct and the player has the ring, this will jump to Yuki marriage ending. Here are conditions you can use inside the if statement when dealing with numbers. If you don't want anything to happen in your statement, you should use pass. Not adding pass will result to an error. Here are ways you can combine statements. We used AND in this tutorial. It returns TRUE when both conditions are TRUE. There's also OR which returns TRUE if at least one of the conditions is TRUE. NOT returns the reverse value. If TRUE is given, it returns FALSE and vice versa. That's it for this tutorial. You can find the code on my itch.io page. Please like and subscribe for more learnings.